10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. Hi, Corrine Jackson here, and you are getting a really poor vlog with really just awful lighting. I'm really sorry about that. I'm still in Paris, and I'm in my hotel room, and I just wanted to talk up my favorite indie store last, well, it's been a couple weeks now. Uh, we had a party at Books Inc. at the Opera Plaza in San Francisco. They had a Take That New York party. And there were over 20 YA or middle grade authors, and we just had a really fantastic time with the readers at the bookstore. And people just hung out and had a great time and talked, and there was a book signing, and it was just great fun to get to meet all the other authors and all the fans of those authors. And here is what people had to say about their favorite indie bookstore and why they love indie bookstores. <laughs> What I love about my local indie store is that they have actually read the books, is that you can go in there and you can talk to a bookseller, you can tell them about the kid that you're buying a book for, the teen that you're buying a book for, and they can tell you this sounds like a good book or this sounds like a good book. What I love about my indie store is the passion that all the booksellers have for books. They love the books, they can tell you all about the books, and they'll take the time to show you books that you'll be interested in. For those two reasons. One is I. They have make great recommendations and they get to know your taste and so then they're like, hey, this book came in and you're like, great, I love it. And that's, you don't get a relationship with an online store. The second I have to say is you can do karate moves. <laughs> and in a store, you can't do that online because no one else is there appreciating the goodness of a good karate chop. What I love about my local indie is the sense of community that you just can't get online. They bring in authors, they do school visits, and they just make it feel like a great place to come and find out about new things. I love my indies because of the personal feelings. You really know everyone who works at the bookstore, and like they really support local bloggers and readers and just everyone young. I love my local indie because I can always go in there and find something on the shelves that I wouldn't necessarily find if I went online. I like to look at the shelves and browse the history section especially, and I can always find an interesting topic that I could just dive into. I love my local indie because they always have incredible variety. I can ask people for recommendations, for presents, or for different types of books, and they always have great recommendations. And they also have kind of a community feeling, a children's book hour, and Saturday mornings. There are too many things to even begin to list that I love about indie bookstores. But uh, one of the things I love is at my indie bookstore, I can walk in and I, um, the owner knows me by name and he knew me before I was a writer um, and I was just shopping there and he always had a stack of suggestions. He knew what I loved to read and that's the kind of thing that I love about indie bookstores. They, they really care and they take the time to find books that are specific to your reading interests. I love these bookstores because they host a lot of book events, especially Books Inc., where I'm at today. And I love the fact that with our indie bookstores, that they host all these events, they're really kind to bloggers, they invite us in, they allow us to come in and host interviews and have contests, and I just love them. And and I wish that everybody had the opportunity that we have to have these type of bookstores around. I love working for Books Inc. It was my first job out of college when I was walking up and down Chestnut Street with my resume looking for part-time work. I got hired as the children's specialist in the store and I like immediately fell in love with being a bookseller because it's where you get paid to be a huge nerd and just love books. And I was especially entranced with the children's lit community which is just very kind and very you know, supportive of one another, and it's a really nice group of people to be a part of. And so I've kind of worked my way up with Books Inc., which has been really exciting for me, and um, being given Not Your Mother's Book Club to run has been just, like, the most fun ever, because we have a super active um, blogger community and a lot of teenagers who regularly come to our events, not to mention educators, and even authors will come out and support each other, which again speaks to that, like, children's lit being a super nice place. And Books Inc. gives us a place to do that because we're an awesome indie chain, if I do say so myself. And we 
really value our community and the people that we work with and it's been such a pleasure to do my job because basically I've just gotten to make a lot of friends with really nerdy, really easily excited, awesome people who love books, which is really what I love too. So it's been a great way to just get like high fives for being a huge nerd. Not Your Mother's Book Club is basically like the brand that we use for all um, young adult author events that we do for Books Inc which Jennifer Loughran started in 2005 for Books Inc. She's now with Oblong Books, which is another really great indie bookseller in Rhinebeck, New York. And um, for the first time this year, we're kind of taking it in a new direction, and we've created a sister program to Not Your Mother's Book Club, which is called Not Your Mother's Book Fund, which will take 10% off the top of all of our Not Your Mother's Book Club branded events of the featured author's titles. Um, and all the sales from that event will go into this fund, and we'll use it to buy club sets for low-income high schools, public high schools, um, that have extracurricular book clubs. And so it's a way for us to sort of like basically reward other book nerds and also provide a way for people who wouldn't have necessarily had access to amazing author visits, having them come to their school and also to like have something to take away from it. So I'm just deadly excited about this and it's pretty much the coolest thing anyone's ever let me do. Um, and it's a credit to Book Sync's investment into their community, our community, excuse me. I guess I'm part of that team. Anyway, um, so I'm very, very excited and I hope to see a million people at all of our Not Your Mother's Book Club events because from now on, it's not just supporting your, your, your local community, it's not just supporting an author, it's not just supporting your community, you're also supporting people in high school getting to read and getting to meet awesome authors, which is just infinitely cool. So I hope, you know, the next event you come to buy a million books.